Isaiah 66, the Amplified Bible. Heaven is God's throne. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where, then, is a house that you could build for me? And where will my resting place be? For all these things my hand has made, so all these things came into being by and for me, declares the Lord. But to this one I will look graciously, to him who is humble and contrite in spirit, and who reverently trembles at my word and honors my commands. Commentary on Isaiah chapter 66 verses 1 through 4 from www.christianity.com The Jews glorified much in their temple, but what satisfaction can the eternal mind take in a house made with men's hand? God has a heaven and an earth of his own making, and temples of man's making but he overlooks them, that he may look with favor to him who is poor in spirit and serious, self-abasing and self-denying, whose heart truly sorrows for sin. Such a heart is a living temple for God. The sacrifice of the wicked is not only unacceptable, but a great offense to God. And he that now offers a sacrifice after the law does in effect set aside Christ's sacrifice. He that burns incense put contempt upon the incense of Christ's intercession and is as if he blessed an idol. Men shall be deceived by the vain confidences with which they deceive themselves unbelieving hearts and unpurified consciences need no more to make them miserable than to have their own fears brought upon them. Whatever men put in the place of the priesthood, atonement and intercession of Christ will be found hateful to God. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so honored to be in this relationship with you. You are the great creator of this universe. We marvel at your power and the wonders of this world we are yet discovering. Although you could have demanded a luxurious temple built by man, your desire is for our hearts to be your temple. We are honored that you would want to dwell within us. We are so unworthy, but we welcome you in. Cleanse our hearts from the impurities of life, and we invite you to live and love through us. Let your will be done, and our image be the reflection of your spirit in us. We desire to please you so that our life will reflect the great power of you moving through us. Thanks again, Lord, for your spirit within us, empowering us to live a transformed life because our heart is your temple. We praise and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen.